Always collected, my father used to collect items and it's come down kind of through the family. So the reason I decided to collect around the Cuban baseball team was because back in 2004, no one else really could collect that stuff. The unique thing about the Cuban baseball team is they only leave the island twice per year. Americans couldn't go to Cuba. So there's a real opportunity for me to have a unique collection. I think initially when I was collecting, it was collecting almost anything. In the last three to four years, I've already kind of focused on certain players, which enables me then to purchase what I need from those players directly and enables my collection to actually have some more sense to it. I really enjoy collecting items, but there's only so much stuff I can actually have on display. And I'm kind of in this real predicament at the moment. I can keep on adding items. I might have them framed, but the frame then ends up in the cupboard. So at this point, I'm kind of deciding what is next for me. I have some amazing items. However, I'm not sure what's actually next. So one of the main ways I, I share it online is doing my Instagram feed. Instagram is a great way to visually show the items. It's a great way to acknowledge the players who have given you the items. You can actually tag the players in the items. And due to my relationship with them, often they kind of like and comment, which is always nice to see. But it also gives a, a wider group of people who I might not be interacting with through Facebook an opportunity to see the items. And, and quite often people reach in and ask me questions about the items. So I think what's been really fun over the last three to four years when the Gurriel family decided to leave Cuba is I very much focus my collection on, on those players now playing for the Houston Astros and the Toronto Blue Jays. I think it's fair to say I've probably got one of the largest collections on those players, not only from their time on the island when, when I was fortunate enough to acquire items, but now they're actually in Major League Baseball. And when I think about kind of my day-to-day -day job, it's all about networking. One of the reasons I'm successful is because of the networking. I look at my sports collection and it is solely due to networking. I look at the vast majority of items in that room and they've either come directly from the players, from the players' family, or through trusted friends who are able to acquire those items. And that's only built through trust, trust in business, trust in collecting. So when I look at that collection, not only do I see it as a potential retirement fund one day, I actually see it as um, fruits of my labor for the hard work I put in and, and, and the many hours. The great thing about my hobby is I actually control the direction it goes in. I decide what I actually want to acquire, what items I want to buy. And when I bring that back into my life at Jellyfish, I am incredibly fortunate and privileged that whilst I don't have a, a clearly defined role, it still gives me the ability to deliver to the client's needs, to deliver the satisfaction that I personally enjoy seeing clients deliver that digital transformation and ultimately enables the client to walk away with a smile on their face and ultimately then tell other individuals about how great Jellyfish is and actually enabling business transformation.